Welcome back to the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna trim, refine, and fit a set of brand new Dynamic Corvette one and a half inch wider quarter panels on the Tribute Split. So be sure to stick around. In the last video you saw, I glued on the rear deck as well as the taillight panel. And this thing is cured up for probably four days at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of these clamps off because I wanna see what the doors look like when they're closed. And I wanna hold the quarter panels up here to really see you know, how much work do we have ahead of us to get the quarter panels on? Those are the next hurdle. We're gonna install wider quarter panels from Dynamic Corvettes. So we have to go ahead and delete the original splash shield here. And we have some bigger splash shields to take that place that'll fit the curvature of the new quarter panels better. I removed all the clamps that we used to glue this thing together. And you can see everything looks really nice. I have to remove some of the extra bonding adhesive that got on the bonding strips as well as on the rear deck. And I also need to come through here with the DA and just shine all that up, remove all the extra flashing. And the doors fit up nice. Uh, they don't close all the way because there's some extra glue and flashing in here, especially up front in this area. So I need to refine that to get the doors to close fully, and then we can start to get the quarter panels to fit. And the same is true on the passenger side. You can see it's a little tight right in here, and there's a big gap right here. As the door closes, this gap, as well as this gap, will tighten up. So again, I just need to start removing some of the adhesive to get this door to fully latch without rubbing on any of these surfaces. And then we can start to get this quarter panel mocked up and see where we need to do a little filling, do a little grinding, and get these things ready to glue on. So I sanded off the extra glue that was on the bonding strips and I also got the doors to fit a little better. They're still a little tight in some spots and they still need some body work and tweaking and stuff, but they're at least to the point where they're closed and I'm happy with them and I think their body lines are in a good spot. So I set these quarter panels on. You can see we have a nice body line through here. The door gap looks, looks fine. They're a little bit long, which is good. They give you a little extra meat to work with. So I need to come through here with a Sharpie and take a little bit out here and basically from here the whole way back to here I need to take a little bit out so that way this quarter panel sits down flat and then once this drops down this will line up a lot better and it'll just make more sense um, but you can see these are the wide dynamic Corvette quarter panels you can get a better shot here that this one is overlapping a little bit so I need to take a decent bit off through here and then up in the front. But other than that, they're fitting up real nice. So I removed both quarter panels and trimmed them back so we have a little bit of a gap here to work with and the body line is fitting up nice with the door. The quarter panel itself is fitting pretty flush for the most part. It's a little bit higher than the rear deck here. We're lining up nice with the taillight panel so all that is looking good. So I need to take the quarter panel off now and grind all the areas where we're going to bond on the back side of it. And I also need to address the areas that are a little high. Make sure there's not too much bonding adhesive on the car and make sure there's no extra fiberglass in these areas to make sure we're as flush as possible the whole way across. And then I also spent a little bit of time here fitting the top of the door just a little bit better. We want to make sure the door is exactly where it needs to be so that way we get our body line really nice here. So I'm, I bent this flange up just a little bit and that cleaned up the top a lot on this side. We might be able to see that the quarter panel is a little higher here, so I need to figure out what's going on here. We need to get this sitting lower, but other than that, it's pretty well flush the whole way through. And then, I don't know if you saw earlier, 
but this door top didn't fit that great. And that's because, well, this door is from a car that was wrecked and the door was actually leaning in. So with the door shut and latched, I put a Porter Power in here and pushed off that side of the birdcage and just tipped the door top out because, well, I don't want to adjust the door anymore. The door fits the car really well. The roof or the door top was just pushed too far in. So I pushed that out and then that brought this up which brought this into a pretty nice spot. It still could use maybe just a little bit more blending, but overall, I mean, that's basically, that's basically how they were factory. It's just a little bit, just a little bit low here, but that looks, that looks really good. So I know both doors are where they need to be. The quarter panels are getting pretty close, but I don't have the uh, latch pillars in, so I need to go ahead and clean those guys up. We need to get those pieces glued in place before we can really get too crazy with our quarter panel fitment. It roughly fits the car, but now we gotta refine it. I installed the door jam fiberglass on both sides, and you can see that we're fitting pretty tight through here, um, but we are just a little bit low, right in pretty much from here down. So I need to glue this pillar in first, and then after I glue that, I'll put some of that fiberglass filler in here to build that up so we have a nice tighter gap and we make sure we get a nice good transition from the door to the quarter. So I'm happy with the way the quarter panel fits the top of the taillight panel and I like the way the body line rolls around into the doors and I've also checked the height from this body line or the bottom of the fender to the ground on both sides. I've checked the chassis to make sure we're level. Everything's looking good there. So I decided to introduce uh, the exhaust valance here and you can see, well, we have a little bit of a gap right here. We're tight at the bottom because I put a couple clamps on the quarter and I hook them together with a ratchet strap lightly just to keep them pulled in. You can see we have a gap here and we're tight here. So I think what we need to do is just do a little bit more trimming on the top, do some trimming here where it's touching and slowly draw these pieces in. So that way this can get closer to touching and the same on, the same is true on the other side. You can see we're overlapping here. Just have a little bit more whittling to do you can see there's a bigger gap on this side. So we just have to pull these in. You know, we're dealing with reproduction panels that were both made in different factories from different parts. So you're gonna always have a little bit of trimming to do on each of them. So that's to be expected, but we're gonna slowly whittle these in. So I spent some time trimming up the quarter panel to get this gap to close up with the exhaust balance and that looks real nice. And all of this will get filled and blended. So that was the most important gap. All this other stuff is nice and tight. I do have to remove a little bit of material to let this quarter panel sit down a little further. But other than that, they're both laying really nice. So now it's time to build up this bonding strip in here, I put marks on the door from here to here. It needs a little bit of fill because it's a little low here. And the same is true on this side. This side needs a little bit less, but it still needs to be addressed. I also need to build up this area um, back here because this quarter panel flares out a little more. So we need to build that up to make some room for the, or to give the glue something to bite into. So I'm doing my final mock-up of the quarter panels and I'm really happy with the way they're fitting. Before I put any glue out, I like to make sure I have everything clamped in place the way I like it. I'm gonna make some match marks on here, probably with a Sharpie, so I know, you know where, where everything needs to live. Um, but I like to mock my clamps up to make sure we're getting good pressure everywhere. This area is a little tricky, so I have a clamp 
pushing this piece of the quarter panel in and our door gap is looking really good in terms of uh, it being on the same plane. So pushing here will smush this whole thing in. This top part of the quarter is always a little tricky to get it to stick, just the way the geometry is. So I have a bar clamp in here with a piece of sandpaper to keep it from slipping away. And what I'm actually gonna do is use the door to help hold the clamp in place so that way it doesn't slide out. I'm probably just gonna lightly put a ratchet strap between the two doors and that angle will help keep this clamp from sliding that way. But overall, everything's looking good. Got a whole bunch of clamps in here. Now we're only gluing this seam and then the ones right here. I'm gonna put the splash shield in later and I'm also gonna put this taillight panel bonding strip, which I have right here. I'll put this guy in after, but it's nice to have this access um, through the taillight opening holes. We can get stuff tweaked around. So we're gonna go ahead and just do those bonds. Um, we'll put the splash shields in that guy in later. Probably the next video we'll put those in as well as the little gills that go here. Um, but now it's time to pull the quarters off, clean everything up real good, and we're gonna come through here with our glue in our electric glue gun, cover this up, smush it down. We gotta triple check it to make sure we're happy with our position before we walk away from this, but it's basically ready to glue on. So I have both quarter panels glued on and they went on pretty smooth. I put all my clamps in the exact same arrangement I had before and everything clamped up nicely. Went through and tried to my best to smooth everything up in the door jam. And you can see the little apparatus I have here with the ratchet straps pulling the doors closed and they help pin these clamps in place. So we have a pretty nice gap the whole way through here. I came back through and filled it with glue were there any little voids and smooth that up. That also helps me see if one panel is higher than the other, but I think we're in good shape. And this side also looks good. I had to put an extra little clamp here just to push down on that spot there, but overall it's looking good. So I'm gonna let this thing sit up over the weekend and then we'll come pop all the clamps off. We'll do a little bit of blending, but next we're gonna have to put on the bonding strips back here, the rear splash shields that go um, tie in the back side of the quarter panel there, work on getting these louvers in, and then we can start working on the firewall as well. So we've got a good bit left to do, but we won't really get to see how wide this thing is until we get all the clamps off of it. But I think it's looking really awesome. All of our gaps with our exhaust valance look nice and tight. So I think we're in a good spot here. Now we just gotta let this thing cure up. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as you can see, I got a lot of work to do. So I'll catch you guys later.